Cody, just overall, how did it feel to be out there? Felt good. Felt really good. Uh, shoulder felt great. And uh, I thought it just felt great getting into uh, a game with the guys again and in front of some fans. Um, it's hard not to notice you have a new stance, um, you know, slightly more open. The bats, I guess, angled a little differently. Um, what's the point behind that? What, what, are you, what are you trying to do there? I'm just playing with uh, what I feel is good for me and um, just being, I feel confident with it. So, how long did you work on that this season? About, well, I had a lot of downtime with the Spurs. So I had a lot of time to think. Um, but I mean, I've been swinging the bat for, I don't even know when my first day was, but uh, whenever I stepped in the box for the first time or in the cage. And when you're thinking about making that change, like what prompts it? Well, why did you decide that you have something you wanted to do? Um, I mean, I've, I've done it in the past, um, had success with it. And I mean, to be honest, ultimately, I just feel really good with it. And just last one is, uh, how long do you think it'll take for you to get your, your timing down here a couple of weeks before opening day? Um, I felt pretty good today. Uh, as the game went on, I felt better. Um, just a matter of, you know, playing the game when it's defense, weight and inning, hit, you know, just to get into the rhythm of things. Um, the timing, you know, we'll see. I don't think it'll take long. I feel pretty good. Um, so just, just playing in games. Next question is from Dave Vassa. Go ahead. Hey, Cody, wh what made you decide to go to the open stance? I just answered it, Vassa. Sorry, I jumped on late. Um, no, I just had a lot of downtime. So, and I've done it in the past and I've had a lot of success with it and it uh, feels really good. Do you believe that you need to have more time with that than what spring trainings allowed you to with the uh, shoulder injury? Or do you feel uh, like it's not that big? It's really not that big. Uh, it's really not that big, no. Who who uh, who approached you about that? Myself. Deep thoughts. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, we're going to keep poking about this, uh, Cody. How much of when you make a change like that, how much is just how it feels and how much do you – put into maybe analyzing how pitchers attacked you and, and respond to that? Uh, I was more about how I felt. Um, nothing to where the pitchers attacked me. So it's about, it's a, it's a comfortable, it's all about comfort. And uh, I, I believe in it. Is this closer to 2019 or, or farther away? I mean, it, it's all, Everything I've done is relatively close. Um, it's just, it's, it's a combination of learning uh, throughout all my years of playing. Last year, the numbers did show that pitchers threw you more fastballs. They attacked you that way, I assume, because they thought they would have success. Do you look at that at all? Um, I actually didn't know that. Um, but did you ask if that was the reason? What'd you ask? No, I didn't know that. Do you do you think they saw something maybe that that you didn't? I mean, I, I, it worked last year for them, you know. So, <laughs> uh, that's probably why they did it. So the the change wasn't a response to that. It wasn't. No. Thanks, Cody. We have time for one more. Go ahead, Dave. Cody, last one about it. Just just curious if you have seen the difference as far as pitch recognition since you've gone to the open stance, either on the backfields or even in today's game? Uh, it's just a consistency, a consistency thing. When it's to the case, the BP, to the sim game, to today in the game. Um, it's all about being consistent. So um, I feel that's where I'm at right now.